correlation of dimer levels with ctpa findings the aim of the study is for correlation of dimer levels with ctpa findings in patient of pulmonary embolism pulmonary embolism is the third most common cardiovascular condition after coronary artery disease stroke and lacks specific symptoms and relies heavily on non invasive imaging for diagnosis ctpa particularly with multi director or ct has emerged as an ideal imaging method for diagnosis of pe even with an accurate diagnosis and anticoagulant therapy the death rate after an acute pe diagnosis is between 8 to 8% and 15% owing to advancements in ct uh, multi slice spiral ct is now recommended over dsc for diagnosis of pe pre dimer a fibrinolysis product aids in thrombosis diagnosis showing elevated levels in acute pulmonary embolism while correlated with ctpa findings its diagnostic use remains debated due to non specific elevation and unclear threshold values uh, clinical features the symptoms vary based on comorbidities and embolus size ranging from cardiovascular collapse to uh, minimal hemodynamic effects dyspnea is the most common symptom while syncope hypotension and severe dyspnea indicate severe pe tachypnea is the most frequent sign accompanied by other symptoms such as fever tachycardia etc the diagnostic tests which are used are ventilation perfusion scintigraphy ct pulmonary angiography mri psc uh, pulmonary angio advantages the advantages is that ctpa with high sensitivity and specificity is the gold standard for pe diagnosis offering mpr capabilities for comprehensive pulmonary vascular tree examination and improved peripheral pe detection enhanced spatial resolution and shorter scan times reduce motion artifacts while right ventricle assessment improves ctpa's predictive value methods it was a retrospective observational study all patients referred for ctpa with clinically suspected pe having positive dimer assay the study comprised of a total of 100 patients of pe with positive dimer assay who were hospitalized at this institute a ct protocol the machine used is ge 16 slice revolution ct ctpas were performed on the scanner with less than 3 mm slices entire thorax covered with timed contrast injection soft tissue sensitivity construction and lung window evaluation we then retrospectively reviewed lab, lab data along these patients with positive ctpa to see if dimer was performed on them and if so their results we considered values of more than 500 nanogram per ml by elisa method as abnormal or fixed so the results we found were as follows this is a graphical distribution of um, the patients who had positive pulmonary thromboembolism and age distribution this is a representative of the gender distribution among the study participants and uh, this is a representation of dimer pulmonary embolism among study participants uh, among the participants a uh, dbt was also studied because it increases the incidence of pulmonary thromboembolism as well as the incidence of pulmonary infarcts uh, which is uh, a complication of uh, acute pe uh, moving to discussion uh, in the present study majority of the patients 42% belong to to the 41 to 60 years of age followed by 29% belonging to 20 to 40 years of age uh, pulmonary thromboembolism 38% of the patients had pulmonary thromboembolism and uh, our study's pe prevalence rate is similar to that of previous pre published research uh, which found 35% of the patient with clinical suspicion of pe were affected with by pe dvt in the present study dvt and uh, the percentage of patients who had pulmonary infarcts were studied so um, this result emphasizes even more the need of doing a thorough evaluation of suspected pe using a single sitting of the uh, combined ctpa slash ct you know of the pelvis and lower extremity in this study uh, which aim which was at the dimer levels the median dimer level was significantly higher in patients with pe compared to those without and the roc analysis yielded an area under the curve uh, with optimal cutoff of more than 2.4 microgram per ml previous uh, research uh, which was done uh, reported 94% negative predictive value of dimer in ctpa patients studies have shown decreased dimer specificity with age due to increased comorbidity suggesting increased improved performance when excluding older uh, individuals the conclusion of the study was ctpa is a key diagnostic tool for pulmonary embolism the study found a significant association of dimer levels and pulmonary thromboembolism in patients averaging 51.5 years 
while the useful for ruling out PE in low risk cases, P dimer shouldn't override clinical judgment in high risk scenarios. Improved radiological grading training should enhance emergency care. Uh, study limitations include small sample size, single study design, lack of long term follow up. Um, these are the two cases that we uh, were studied uh, among the other uh, study participants. The first is a representative of a saddle embolus, which is a filling defect involving the bifurcation of the main pulmonary artery extending into the right and left uh, pulmonary branches. And a polo mint sign, which is usually found uh, in this case, uh, which appears as a well defined hypotense non enhancing filling defect involving the left lower lobar branches. Following references were used for this paper. Okay.